Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 40, uh, part 2. I'm Ryan, the GM. It's the 26th of March, 2020. Uh, the drinking has begun. Here are the players. <laughs> Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, half of... Hey, I am... Um, who am I? I'm Scott. Scott. I'm playing Crombar, a half-orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Anastasia. A wood elf. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Excellent. We all got there. Um, right. So I, I believe. Just, uh, I'm thinking what alcohol I have. <laughs> <laughs> I could mix. It. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I, for those at home, it's amaretto and cherry coke that I have decided to drink. That's what I'm indulged in just now. That's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, do not drink irresponsibly, anyone. Uh, Yes, so the party we're walking to into her. a tavern, which is very suita suitable uh, for you know the game for now. Because you're heading into the lonely crab. <laughs> it's probably really lonely because you're quite a far bit away from any water, to be honest. So yeah, quite quite a few days away from some water. Bye. So you're heading. Who's heading in first? What's the plan? Talk to me. Tell me the scene, right? Because it's obviously a relatively well-to-do bar. Yes, all right, okay. Well, walk in, set the court. And look breathing. Have, well, have a wee look, see what he's doing first of all. So I'm assuming he's getting a drink and sitting down. Is he sitting down on his own or is he going to a group or anything? So he's sat down um, at like a kind of booth away to the side, on like a kind of raised up area. Um, like it's almost like a kind of split level bar, if you will. Um, there's like the kind yeah. of main common area with the big open fire and whatnot, and then you've got the, the kind of back area, which is like raised up stone, like stone steps carved into it. And then it's a uh, obviously booths up there, and one of his guards is still at the the table with him. The other one went up to the bar, and they uh, seem to be just nodding away to the barmaid. That's where you can kind of glance. Right, thank you. Mm. So he's going to the bar. No, uh, his, the guard, the bar. his guards. So one his of his guards, guards is at the table, and one of his guards has went to the bar for him. Right. Describe his guards. Mm, depends what you're looking for. Dwarven. Can we take them? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering, <laughs> right? Uh, First of all. I mean... Yeah, if there's only two of them, they're dwarven. Yeah, quite Why don't tough, you give me a... You can you can choose depends perception. how well you want to start. Yeah, perception if it's a quick glance or investigate if it's a more detailed look to spend some time checking them over. You tell me. Perception is good enough. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. 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 I mean, you've fought demons, so. Right. Yeah. Like, you your fists are magical weapons. Yeah. Are their fists magical uh, weapons? Yeah. That, <laughs> that was a different game. We Gima. Yeah. Alright. Nobody would mess with Gima. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, yeah, you reasonably, right? You think you could probably take them, to be honest, as a group, especially. It's, um, yeah. Maybe the sense part of your brain that kicks in is that it's not just them that's the problem, though. It's the fact that user outsiders beating up. The dwarven lords, dwarven guards in the dwarven city. Well, I definitely don't want to be him up. It's just looking for options. That's so. all. <laughs> yeah, like they're not particularly. Um, this is the equivalent of a celebrity with two bouncers, right? Like. Yeah. That's this is the equivalent of that. They're not like. They Unless they look he's like a mercs. King that, they be, yeah, yeah, he's just he obviously just doesn't want jumped in the, or maybe you could assume maybe that's what he got from Forge. If he travelled from Forge, maybe they were there to help protect him through the Undermarch. Never know. Right. Mm -hmm. Am I coming through okay, or am I? Are you just losing me? Yeah, no, I can hear. Fairly well. I'm just thinking. Yeah. Uh, good. Good. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, one's away. Right. I'll start one's away. Ah, uh, yeah. Yay yay. <laughs> How is this gonna go so bad in most ways? 
Why do you always assume the worst? Huh? Yeah, I wonder. Right. Uh, go up to him, introduce myself. Hello, my name is So let's, let's slow this down a bit, Reach. Okay, <laughs> so you have all got in and you just went to a, like a, a, a table, yeah, in the lower part. Yeah. Near, near yeah. the wall or something, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. And you want to get off the table and head towards the, the raised up section, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I think as you approach the his table, the other dwarf that's standing guard just kind of like eyes you up and down and just like takes a step, like just in front, not necessarily to block you off, but just to be like, keep moving. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. like if I drew this in a really f like rudimentary way, let me just make up a newbie page and move us all to there. Right. So let's just dump us here. Everybody scream because of the, the eyes. Right, right, so if, right, so if I drew this really roughly, right, so if that was the way in, and that was the bar, and then there was... Where are me and you drinking? If this was the raised up section here, make sense? Yeah, on the left, yeah. Yeah, right, so if that was that, I'll get rid of Got this. You. Yeah. So if that was the case... Like a stage. Yeah, pretty much like a stage. Um, if yeah. his wee booth was like this, right... He's yeah. just like went from there to there so that you won't necessarily have like a direct line to the table. Yep. The assumption is that you you move on to another table is the assumption, if that yep. makes sense. Uh, also, for those at home, I've fixed it. There you go. You can see there. But yeah, so there's my, my drawing. I'll, I'll leave this here. And it's, it's the tables have partitions between them as well, don't So these are all like yeah. booths up here. Yeah. So everything's carved out of stone. So it's like, like a stone kind of booths, if you will. Uh, like yeah. dwarves are not usually imaginative with their materials. Yeah. I mean, the stone was here, so it was cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like Is just imagine weird? there's like four booths or whatever. And uh, there's probably like little tables against the the banister, looking out over the. The floor that probably has like a whole bunch of them, you know, tables scattered everywhere, and then probably a big fire here. There you go. I like fire. And then maybe a big staircase going upstairs to like a. Please don't talk to the fire whilst we're in here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I understand what the fire is saying? Uh, no, because it's not a hellfire. It's just a fire. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of shaking my head at this. I'm like, oh. what am I drawing? Or <laughs> <laughs> no, at the idea of <laughs> talking to the fuck. Yeah. So, there, Rich, you can be up there. That's, that works for me. Right. I I, I sidestep the guy and quickly say, "If you, my lord, if you don't mind, can I introduce myself?" Don't stand any closer, just literally sidestep, so keep the distance. Right. Yeah, so um, almost like you're trying to get the guy's attention but by not being body blocked by the guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but not being aggressive by stepping into it, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Can you roll Persuasion? And I'm going to roll a d20 as well. Boom. Can I beat that? No, I don't think I would be able to beat that. It's not about that. This is like this position straight away off the bat, if that makes sense. So it's not so much. Also, the reason I got you to do that is because I knew your modifier is zero anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, it would have been like a charisma check, and it's easier to say persuasion. Um, but yeah, the guy says, "And do I know you?" I believe not. Uh, I'm from the gold. The Order. Uh, you may have heard of us. Uh, I'm a paladin mm -hmm. of the Golden Order. You may have heard of us, uh, but dwarves probably heard that and mentioned gold. So yeah. I mean, uh, I mean um, well, mm. we've been racist. <laughs> right, maybe not. It's not so much that. It's more just uh, how much is this guy's life involved? Stuff, stuff like that. It's like, what exactly is your business with me, paladin? Right. We are on a mission for the great gold worm and we need 
to speak to the wizard, uh, to the dwarf king. Okay, Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> Your fucking ruby sandals or whatever, slippers. I'm yeah. looking for the yellow or black roads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's start that again. Yep, go for it. Yeah. Uh, Your paladin. I'm on the mission for the great gold worm, and we're in great need to speak with the dwarf king. Uh, a holy man, you see. Too... Yeah. I myself, well, yeah, a monk and a paladin, I guess I've got to be a bit. Yes, I am a holy man, but it's not a uh, holy. I don't want to say. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Right. Uh, oh. There we go. Right. There we go. Yep. Right. That didn't disappear. I noticed that. <laughs> yeah. Weird uh, times. Uh, yeah. I. Uh, I am. So there's a holy like what, you're a holy man, are you? And you says yes and no was essentially your answer. Yeah, yeah. I'm a holy man, but it's not a, a mission for. Uh, it's not a religious mission. Uh, it's a mission to save the world. Uh, it will. Yeah, it is literally will be the whole world. Uh, so we need the help of the dwarf king. Okay, and just you just see him run his hand through his uh, beard, because obviously he does. He's a dwarf, and uh, yeah, it says maybe you should come back with a drink for such a tale. And just kind of blankly stares at you. That's maybe two drinks, and I could join you. That'd In be fact, a good idea. Uh, why not well, a jug? Yeah. What's your What's your tipple? <laughs> you what says, do you drink? Hmm. And like, does that thing where he like stretches yeah. his hands out and clicks would his be. fingers, and he's like, "Why don't you find out what the house would well. serve a lord, and then we'll see how how good this tale of yours is." What a smug bastard. Yeah, he is, eh? I've and got like, a cheap way out of this, but yeah. I'm not sure if I want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I can think of the way out myself as well, to be honest, but I, you can... Um, yeah. So you send... like Maybe as you turn to like mm. head back down those steps of the stage, as it were, uh, you hear, are you going to invite your bigger friend as well, then? Yes, uh, but I would like yeah, my friend Best make it two yeah, jugs. Well, and yeah, <laughs> I got my own. Yeah, the the implication there is he obviously knows you guys have followed him. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, maybe you, do you head back to the group or do you head to the bar or what? What's the what's yeah. the plan? Head, but actually head to the bar straight away. And this is a uh, other bodyguard still. Yeah, I think maybe you just pass each other. Maybe he was at the bottom of the stairs yeah. as you were about to pass yeah. him. Yeah. Right, okay, go straight to the bar and ask what's that bodyguard just bought and if we can have two jugs of it. I think the woman just uh, looks you up and down and goes, I got all day love, got to order now, come on. Busy bar. Yeah. Right. What would you recommend for a lord? <laughs> she looks you up and down and she says, besides a punch in the jaw. Hey. Right. If you could just go up to that, <laughs> <laughs> up to that booth, <laughs> right? Okay. She laughs, yeah. and then uh, she says, "I don't know, a gallon of ale, a mug of ale." Shrugs. Mostly we have well, ale. Once a gallon is probably a good idea. Uh, I think uh, I'd, I think I'd see reach at the bar and just kind of walk over. Okay. Um. Because right. I'm baller, and then just be like. What's he ordering? Just a minute, yeah, love. I'll be with you just now. Uh, that's okay. He's a friend of mine. So, yeah, a uh, lord will speak to us, but he just wants some drinks. A jug, two uh, good drink. Uh, so. I, ju- I, just, I just look, turn to the bartender and go, Could we get three jugs of your finest ale, please? Actually, oh, you've got a jug there already, but so. 
make it into wine and we can have two, two well, I was thinking one or two of ale and one of wine and yeah, get them. No, I'm just, wanting, no I'm just wanting to judge to myself and I'm going to make yeah. you pay for it. <laughs> uh, it might not work that way. <laughs> See, to be fair as well, you probably used that for water at some point, you know, when you get yeah. up in the morning. Uh, just saying, because you ha- uh-huh, mm-hmm. haven't been drinking your water. So remember, we, the agreement was you would make water and less. Aye. Yeah. So you've probably got a pitcher of water at the moment. Uh, or your, your carafe, sorry, your golden carafe. Yeah. Right. So two jugs of your best deal. I'll go for that. And then uh, just kind of nod to the Abbey. Four silver pieces, please. Okay. No problem. And then she looks problem. over at you, Crumber, and she's like, and you want three, do you? She looks you up and down. Wait, so she gave him two? Two, two, two gallon yeah. of ale. Yeah. Oh, no, I was saying yeah, to add a third is, one. No, she and said, and you want three. That's what she said to you. I'll, do, I'll just grin and go, yep. I'll do six <laughs> silver pieces, please. Okay. Now, if Crumbar ordered... Three jugs, and Reach ordered two jugs. What would one jug cost? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Two gold. Two silver would be one jug. So it's a uh, two silver. So it's six yeah. silver for you, Crumbar, and four for for Reach. Done. Yeah. So she's got like five jugs of uh, like five gallon jugs sat on the countertop between the two of you. <laughs> Ridiculous. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Grab them. Let's go. We need to tell the tale to see if we can get this uh, uh, guy to help us. What are you doing with Kitty and Arya? Um, yeah, I'm wondering about that. We've got, to be honest, Kitty and Arya. May as well come as well. I'm not letting him drink the three yeah, gallon. Be... <laughs> <laughs> you see Crumbar just kind of trying to crawl along here with these three jugs I awkwardly Bye. try to walk with them <laughs> and then I like the idea like what I like the idea of is like you see me walking along with three jugs and then um, Kitty just walks up and just just nicks one out my hand and then Ari is just kind of looking at me and I just go fine and then pass her the other one <laughs> Like, give me the, the puppy dog eyes, like, mm. please. It's the person bootlooking. Because knowing really? me, I'd just come up and go, oh, thanks. Grudgingly, I realised I was muted. Mm-hmm. And, um, you grudgingly realised this? Then you said, you're, yeah, that you, no, no, he grudgingly passes me the... Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but beer. <laughs> <laughs> right, so does, yeah. does Crumber indicate to the other two then to actually leave the table then and head over, or...? How does that work? Because obviously, oh, no, no, I, I think I, I genuinely think Kitty, like I say, Kitty sees me walking with three mugs, jugs, and then she'd be like, <laughs> "Jugs," Sorry. and she'd be like, "Well, one of them's for me," and just walks over and just snatches <laughs> like one out my hand. It's just one mug, me, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I just so that Ari is not left out, I just give her my other one. Okay, so yeah, he's all head up to the second level and uh, as you approach the table again it says seems like your numbers have doubled since last time I spotted you <laughs> and say that to your reach yeah, like, yeah. Oh. there mm. is a few of us but uh, we just we are we, and these are we all saving the world talk. are you yes and we're not enough we could do with more that's he kind of just looks at you, waiting on you to set the jugs down. Right. Do that. Jugs. Uh, We're going to have the strength in, are we? Yeah. He sat there with like his arms over the back of the uh, like the kind of soft padding against the stone. Crumbar, when he says that, and there's, uh, I go, those are words I like to hear, and then I like hold my, gl- my jug up to clink it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am... Um, and yeah, essentially, like it just motions to the booth for you to all kind of sit at the booth. Yay! So, Dog. everybody heads up to the booth then. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought we were already sitting down. Sorry. 
Yeah. We gotta go through the motions. You can't just RP for everybody. There we go. <laughs> as much as you'd like to. Sorry, I'll rephrase that. I thought I thought I was already setting down. <laughs> Assisted. When I say we, I mean me and Crumbar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. Hey, cool. Oh, look at him. You'll do, right? You'll do. He'll be used for most <laughs> oh. placeholders. Uh, what a fancy fucker. Yeah. He does realise he's outside. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's all abstract, let's face it. Well, it's, uh... Very abstract. It has to be, otherwise he's all rely on my art skills, which is a bad idea. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Build a wee extension. Surrounded. Oh, no. I mean, they're there to protect him, right? So use are a bunch of randos. Yeah. That's completely, yeah. Yeah. Reasonable. <laughs> So there we go. Yeah, it's we, more really we, like that, that with the table in, the, in between, really. But yeah, it's fine. It's more like that. Yeah. yeah. And those guys <laughs> would be at the edge of the table like that. Yeah. So yeah, these are all sat around. Yeah, all sat. Just to ruin Scott's drones. Yeah. What is the oh, what's the chat? So he's all sat there. Everybody's got their drinks. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I just love that everyone's drinking from gallons. gallons. That's what I like. Everyone's out yeah. of a gallon fucking jug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it comes in points. I'm getting one. <laughs> I'd be like, are we sure? <laughs> but, is. Well, yeah, out we... with it. Uh, we've been travelling quite a bit over the world and there's bad things happening down south and not so far away from here. Uh, the there's portals opening up, to letting demons in, uh, and we've managed to close two of these so far and help with another one, ish, Kenny, oh. and confirmed another one was closed. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Do you want to give me a wee persuasion check as well, just for that? It's going to count for all the the dialogue you're giving them. Yeah. Persuasion. Oh my god! Oh my god! So bad! It is. It's the first critical fail I think I've rolled in this game. Anyway. That's not a bad going if that's the first thing. This is, I mean, 40 sessions in, that's pretty damn good actually. It is. Yeah, decent. Yeah. Pretty bad timing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Rach, can you just not do that? Yeah. Yeah, so the guy's kind of like looking and he's uh, plugging down a lot of the the ale and then like wipes his beard away and he's like wipes the the foam from his beard it doesn't just wipe his beard away it wasn't like a fake beard and uh he kind of just sits there and he's like, in the yeah i know it's just, it was that bad ale <laughs> 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 and he sits there and he's like it's an interesting tale that you're telling me is there um any any proof you've got there besides your shiny armor any proof, any proof, any proof. Uh, 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 uh. Arya, you have bow that came from the hellhole, uh, but would you be able to discern where they came from? Probably? Well, it was, it was my bow, but it suddenly got infused with fire. It didn't really come from there, it got no, but it's infused powerful. with that. It then would be a, kind of a way to see it. Uh, uh. I, mean, I mean, I'm happy to, like, use the bow in the sense that I would, like, activate it and, like... See, I love the idea like, that at this point everybody looks at each other at the table and maybe you just realise because I've come to convince the king with no evidence. Yeah. Hmm. Do we need evidence? What's evidence? I've never needed evidence before. <laughs> so yeah, who answers him when he says, "Do you have any proof?" I'll do, I do, I um, I just kind of not really gesture towards my armor and be like, "Do you really think we'd traipse all the way up here and risk our heads if it wasn't legit?" Uh, uh, I I have a crossbow bolt case full of the 
Minash? You do indeed. You have what now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she does. That's a weird hobby you've got, but yeah. I just kind of... I just... It is I just very true, though. <laughs> 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 While you guys are there, like just looking at each other, like prove this. I'm just there, like rummaging through my bag, like I know it's here somewhere. No, that one's got bolts in it. That one's got bolts in it. That one's got. Was that the same one? God damn it! Like I just get <laughs> like I just like ah, bring it like above my head, holding it like yeah. Okay, I just give you that kind of look of like. What yeah. the fuck, woman? Yeah, and as you stand up, like, so, yes, yeah, it's here, it's here. And then uh, the two guards obviously get a bit startled at the sense of you being swift motioned. And uh, they quickly, like, dart round. And then uh, it's like, settle down, love. There's no need for a. Uh, all this excitement. Takes another big swig of his uh, ale. And he's just looking at you, like, expectantly. Because he's wondering what the hell you got excited about. I think probably everybody's looking at you at this point. I'm just doing that, that the un, the embarrassed anime character where like I'm rubbing the back of my head like mm -hmm. with red face like. <laughs> what do you say? Like, just well. Push it towards them like here you go. The <laughs> oh god, point. please look at everybody else but me. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he looks down at the box and then looks up at you he's like, what am I looking at? Demon Ash. He like puts his hand out and he like flips open the uh, maybe he goes in for like a like a handkerchief or something first and then uses that to open the case he looks inside and he's like you've brought me some ash have you it's better than the live demons they've been a bit troublesome and then uh, he kind of just looks at you he's like I mean, I could just get some ash from the fireplace over there and put it in a, a box if you want that. How, how am I supposed to know this is demon ash? Uh, I wasn't. I think at this point, I'll pipe up and say that people that know a lot about demons surely would know what demon ash is, so is there somebody we can maybe show it to that would be able to confirm like starts like is it nice is chin. it is it bad i'm just thinking aria use your bow and get the fucking fire spirit thing out. <laughs> yeah but i don't know how to do that i've never done that I just love the idea of her starting to scream random things in Infernal with a bow on fire in the middle of a pub. Yeah, exactly. I don't it's want like, people to be... After you've told the place, which is now obviously rife with rumours that the demons are attacking. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to be a bit trigger happy. I don't want it in the... Mm -hmm. It's like, maybe there's a way to get this uh, checked out. Maybe. I mean... I don't particularly consort with wizards myself. And he says that in a way that if anybody knows what he means, I he can tell exactly what he means. If he's one of roll insight, you're welcome to. If he's get that already, you just don't need to. But um, he says... Uh, insight! Roll dice! That way I get more achievements. Ten. <laughs> no. No more achievements. Um, no. Yeah, maybe just maybe the guy doesn't like wizards, right? You don't know. There's nothing you can really read from him from that. But yeah, you can. Uh, he's kind of sat there and he's like, I mean, this could be ash from anything, really. But if it's what you say, I'm sure somebody somewhere could probably prove that. Probably won't be cheap, though, paying for someone's time. He kind of like closes the case back over and like slides it over with his hanky back to you. Yeah, it's not a cheap city, we're getting used to this. <laughs> and he looks at you and he's like, Nothing about this city would be considered cheap, sir. And I agree, yes. <laughs> <laughs> deception? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not deception, it's been costing us money so far for, mm -hmm. for anything. But yeah. uh, and, um, uh, so... Say I believe you. Say this is Demon Ash and there's demons on the horizon. Well, 
What would the king do? No, for as long as they stay on the horizon, you're do everything should be, go well for you. But at the moment, the was over the horizon, struggling to keep them there, and the, the Golden Order need help from anywhere to try and prevent the uh, invading the land. Thought it was the Golden Order's job to keep us safe from demons and boogaboos and such. I'm weird. I'll just kind of butt in and just be like, and we are doing that job by trying to find additional strength. So you're saying is you're not quite up to the task, is it, my orc friend? Not, a, no single army in the like, land is up to this task. No. I'll just, like your sea crumb bar kind of swallow his pride and go, as Rich said, no single army. And we need the help of the, the mighty dwarf king and his army. He kind of laughs and it's like, that's a good way to start if you're looking to see King Patrovangus is to start buttering him up like some fatty piece of bread. And he just kind of leans back and kind of chuckles away to himself. King what, by the way, did you say? Patrovangus? Pat I don't know, I've tried to say Patrovangus, I'll write it in chat for you. Yeah. Just a dwarf king's name. Yeah, he got picked on as a kid. <laughs> but now he's king, so. So, yeah. He just kind of sits back and has a wee chuckle to himself. Maybe there's that awkward look around everyone at the table, so he's pretty much, as I said, he's slugged that case back to you, Kitty, anyway. Um, and he doesn't deny that it very possibly could be Demon Ash, right? But he doesn't know. Mm. And he doesn't seem to care about wizards, so. Uh, if we can provide proof to you that this is wizard, uh, this is a wizard. <laughs> this is a wizard! A so dead wizard! Demon Ash. <laughs> <laughs> Demon Ash. Uh, would you be able to uh, get us an invitation from the king? An invitation to meet the king. And he kind of like, maybe he's like mid drink when you say that, uh, mid swig. And he maybe it's just, maybe it goes down the wrong pipe. And he kind of, when he's finished coughing up ale bubbles, he says, I mean, obviously, a man of my stature could get you a audience with the king if, obviously. He just kind of slowly looks at everyone. The right wheels were in motion. Uh, and that can be round and gold in these wheels, right? Okay. Are they round? No, a man of the Golden Order funny. would uh, yeah. know about gold wheels, as they know it's. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, I'm sure. Those wheels could be yeah, put in motion. That's As you have noted, the high quality and uh, craftsmanship of the wonderful city of Anvil isn't cheap, as you know, and forge even more so. However, these aren't dwarves. That's a... Well, he kind of scratches the back of his head. And a kind of more, oof, that's going to cost you a kind of motion. And he says, I mean, you could bribe your way in, I guess. The right people, the right officials would just look the other way if you paid them enough. But then if you're caught by someone and asked why you're there, hmm. And he just has this kind of conversation with himself. And he's like, you could always try and just sneak in, but you would need to use the undermarch to get there either way, either officially or unofficially. And mm, if you don't use On the, the topic I'll just yeah, just, kind of, yeah, button if you want, because yeah, yeah, just gonna yeah. keep rambling. Yeah, button. On the topic of the undermarch are you currently having problems there? Dwarfs with problems in the undermarch? Who have you been talking to? We heard a story 
uh, one of the a store owner going on that there was trouble in them. Huh. Merchants complaining about their poor businesses because of the undermarch. Yeah, it never changes. So, no danger in the undermarch then? I didn't say that. And he kind of like lifts an eyebrow towards you as if, yeah. <laughs> and then he, he says, there's danger everywhere. Specifically in the Undermarch, what dangers are there? He kind of gives you like a kind of screwed up face and then kind of looks to reach and then looks back at Crumbar and he says, Yes, because that's what I'm here to, you know, spend my amazing time with is uh, listing all the dangers of the Undermarch for you. Huh? And he clinks as a drink off yours and just drinks. No, it. but. You want proof that we're, we're, we're here to kill demons if there's a demonic problem in the Undermarch. He wipes the from his beard and he puts his hand up and says, No, no. You want me to believe there's a demon problem. There's a difference. You need proof for that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if there was such a problem in the Undermarch, we would go take care of it. And that would be the proof you need. Huh. You'd die before you made a dent. Do you not think the Dwarven armies have spent years trying to keep the Undermarch safe? It's a vast network of tunnels and caves. What are you going to do? How old are you, boy? How old is Crumbar? <laughs> I don't know. 40 something? I don't know. Uh, no, I can't remember off the top of my head. I am 37 years old. Uh, I so could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, what do you answer him? Just say that. It's like, we have last taken night. on the armies of hell. Um, <laughs> so, uh, survived. First people to survive the abyss. And, mm -hmm. and I don't know, what was it, 50 years or so? It's the fifth. Oh, I think it was way longer than that. Yeah, it was, I think it was probably like yeah, 100 yeah. years. It was probably even more than that, to be honest. But I... Yeah, yeah. Right. First mm. people to come back from the abyss for at least 100 years. Uh, we can survive a fair bit. Anyways, so now you want me to believe you've been at the abyss. You've fought demon armies and uh, I think I needed stronger ale for a story like this. You tell a good tale. Do they say I'll give it? you that. <laughs> Well, I, I just stand up and like finish off my stein and turn around to him like well do they sell stronger ale than this here he's like no but they sell good wine and he leans forward over, like, and starts like flicking at his nose as if keep that under your hat mm. what it's like hmm what bottle would you recommend <laughs> And then uh, he just I don't, he names a random type of wine that I'm not gonna name. <laughs> the ugly duck. <laughs> there we duck go. Fat. The ugly duck. <laughs> no worries. Come bar just goes back in a minute and just kind of staggers past these people to the bar mm -hmm. and waits for bartender lady. Yeah, we can skip to the part where the service is efficient. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, as fantasy role playing. Yep, this yeah. is it. This is what you get. Like <laughs> perfect service at a bar. Yep. Uh, yeah. I just say to say to the woman, I was two bottles of the ugly duckling, please. She kind of looks at you, and she's like, "Are you trading me your armor for that?" She just laughs. Mm, right. How much is it a bottle? Ten gold a bottle. That's fine by me. There's two, you see, yeah? Two? And she just stands there. And I was just like, you know, and I will, I'll, at that, I'll just go <sighs> dig into my wee coin purse mm -hmm. and take out 20 gold. Mm -hmm. Which could be two platinum if you wanted to make it easier. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, so it would be, yeah. Uh, uh, I you were brave, <laughs> You're also be showing off a bit more. Mm -hmm. mm. 
I heard it showing off a bit more ankle is what I heard, but yeah. <laughs> Take out my tip and just, dr you know, place it on the bar. Mm -hmm. You're like, that what you want to see first? Hey, customs, customs. And then she just like sweeps it up and then puts it away and then runs away through the back. She's made a break for it. She's gone. Uh, That's it. Nah. Mm -hmm. uh, she returns like five minutes later or whatever and two dusty bottles of the Ugly Duckling. Be like that. I'm assuming they're open, yes. I mean, no, they're not. But you can ask her to open them if you really want her to, or you could open them yourself. Yeah, yeah, well, like, is it is it one of the... Paladin can't, uh, can't open a bottle. I love that he tries and just like breaks the first one. Well, there's two. No, but, but, but what, what I'm saying is, is it uh, bottles that we can open though? Yeah, of course it is. Because yes. it'll be like like yeah. corks that have been like chewed and jammed into the end of a uh, wine. All like, right, bottles, yeah. Yeah. spending ten gold in a bottle. It will mm. be, it'll still be a nice cork, but yeah, it'll be corked. Right. The teeth I'll, may have uh, been gold just... replacement teeth. You don't ever know. <laughs> I'll uh, just say thank, thank you very much, and grab the bottles. Walking back, I'll go take my seat. She says something in Dwarf, I but will... you don't understand what she says. That's fine, I'm already gone. <laughs> I sit down, pass a bottle to Sir uh, Fancy Pants. Sir Deepmain, yeah. Lord Deepmain. Yep. Sir Fancy Pants. Mm -hmm. Pass him the bottle and pass him one. And as I'm passing him one, I'll open it up the other one, like just by like pulling the cork out mm. with my teeth, and go. Well, one second, we'll do the effect for it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Look at that up in our game. We will get some foley on the go. <laughs> well, and I'll go. Well, deep man. Cheers. And Ken just nods, and he's like, "You went and bought it as well." And he kind of like he looks at your reach, and he's like, "This one's for the keeping." Like talking about Crumbar, and then he, he quickly uh, opens his bottle and uh, starts pouring it. I am very much so. It's a great noise. But uh, so he, uh, right, he starts pouring himself a glass of uh, the Ugly Duckling. I'm assuming Crumbar pours every day a glass of his. Do you? Nope. Crumbar swings straight from the bottle. Oh wow. <laughs> Uh, so this guy obviously pours pours some out into the glass, swirls it around a bit, uh, and then starts smelling it, and then he uh, like starts to savour it like a proper kind of wine connoisseur, as opposed to a uh, Kronberg lugging. Pork. Yes. <laughs> yes. I didn't want to <laughs> racialize it, but yeah. Make it. Like yes. It yes. Um, bye. So he just sits there and he, he kind of sits and savours it and leans back and goes. Well, I don't think he's after my money unless he's, are, you know, pouring a lot of collateral into this poorly orchestrated heist, as he looks at everybody jokingly. Nope, need your influence, sir. Isn't when we it? need to see the king. Mm. Really, though, you need to get to Forge first. And that's going to be the, the tricky bit. You see, you know why it's tricky? I think Alex ever do. Because we're not dwarves. We've heard this before. That's it. Because you're not dwarves. How can we fix that? Well, A I mean, I can dwarf. disguise myself. Warfect to me. Yeah, when you That's exactly what I was thinking. The kitty could make herself look like. <laughs> I actually don't think it's just herself she can do that to. Maybe I'm wrong, but is it maybe just you? Is it is this guy's self, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. It sounds like it's only you based on the name, right? But sometimes the names are misleading. Yeah, range, self. I'd... Yeah, the reason why I had to go question that is because things like cold touch is a ranged spell that does necrotic damage, not a touch spell that does cold damage. So I always feel the need to read them based on the name. And contagion isn't contagious as a spell. So, yeah, always double check. Um, 
But he, he sits back and says, you can disguise yourself, can you? Aye. You're a bit of a wizard yourself, are you? A double. Okay, he just kind of, he gives you a weird look. And then he, he kind of like looks at everybody else and is like, that's one down. Three to go. I just like gesture to myself and like, I don't really know how you'd hide an orc as a dwarf. Yeah, he looks you up and down and he's like, hmm, you're not handsome enough to be two dwarfs in a coat either. <laughs> <laughs> and he laughs and clinks your bottle with his. So he doesn't start <laughs> any offence, of course, because he doesn't want to fight an orc, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. and he sits back and he's like you know maybe I can get used to to forge but maybe I can't a lot of that will depend on how much gold you know slicks the way as he like slowly nods and then pours himself in our glass of the ugly duckling. And he says, well, kind of swirling it around. Money can make most things happen here in Anvil. Influence is what powers forge. And he starts, like, stare into his glass of wine. So he's um, probably got enough influence, right? But we need the money, so, yeah. I'll just say, I'll just go... Oh well, you drive and it's like, well, hopefully this is enough to get us to get our friendship started and I will slide them across 10 platinum. Okay, I look at it and he's like you best be careful my orc friend. And he kind of looks at the pile and looks well, at you. Why do you say that? He doesn't do careful, to be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm noticing that. you've, you've that right? You're buying gallons of ale, and then you're buying the finest wine in the establishment, and then you're uh, flashing around your money. I just look at him and go, and what is there to be afraid of? Careful now. And he laughs. Uh, Obviously, I think the camera switches to the the guards that obviously side eye each other, and then we cut back to you guys. And he mm -hmm. says, "You don't want to offend dwarves. We're very quick to take offence." I mean, no offence. I'm merely buying a drink for my friend. Oh, and... I'm far too yeah. drunk to take offence. Don't don't worry about me. It's a uh, I mean, kind of like it tilts his kind of wine glass like the rest of the place that aren't on the stage. <laughs> Like, this place is full of potential uh, recipients of your gown purse, if you get what I mean. They could also be potential recipients of my axe. It's like... If you know what I mean. Oh, I know, I know. Violence is, uh, if you don't mind me saying, comes quite naturally to your kind, so I hear of late. I hear Glittery Hagen was having like, I, 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 I just, I kind of just like look at my axe and giggle and go, oh, you could say it's in my blood. Mm. Just you say the giggle and makes me laugh. Yeah, it's yeah. always what, really unnerving, we, isn't it? We, <laughs> a little bit. What were you meaning by of late? Have you heard of any orc problems recently? I mean, where did you travel from to get to here? I assume you probably were in Glittery Hagen first and then you took the trade road. I could yes. be wrong, of course. Um, you may have travelled travelled by Pegasus, for all I know. No. Wait, we right. could have got Pegasus? We could have, but it cost a lot more gold <laughs> than what we had. Uh, so. Man! <laughs> well, I reach has to say this to Crumber across the table. We could have. It was very expensive. We only have a budget for so many bribes. <laughs> <laughs> Thy coffers only run so deep. Trying for all of us, especially kids, mm -hmm. <laughs> kids. <laughs> when a when Pegasus would have been a struggle. That, yeah. that poor bird horse. <laughs> but yeah. So the guy is there and he's like, hey, what was it going to say, Rich? What did you hear? Yeah, it, 
Yeah, yeah. What did you hear? Is there any specific problems with the orcs nearby? Just uh, obviously yeah. the uh, you know he's swirling his wine glass. Just the usual rumours of um, orc attacks north of Glitterhagen. I heard very, very, right. very poor for business, of course. Makes... Very poor, but no longer an issue. Uh, we dealt with that. Oh, of, c- of course you did. Yes, of... sorry, my, my apologies. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, had another one we've done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's another reason. It, that's the kind of thing where we need to speak to the Dwarf King. That's likely to happen more often. So, and demon, demon and us, orcs, then. you say? Oh, dark days. The orcs were... Yeah, what's the <laughs> point? The orcs were using the demons to, uh, to, uh, to power their attacks. Effectively, right? Yeah, but I I'm simplifying to... a lot. But, yeah. yeah, but like obviously, it's you can convey yeah. it. Yeah, and he's like looking yeah. at you, he's like, "Oh, you guys get me a wizard to prove that as well." And he takes <laughs> a big sip from his wine, looking at you, it's like the sips yeah. tea meme. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a hard that, sell, right? Let's face it, it's a hard sell. Very hard sell. Because you just so happen to be at the Abyss, at the south of the world, and, you know, fought off demons and left the Abyss. The only people to, to, to have ever done that, really, according to most people's knowledge, unless you're a scholar. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, it didn't so happen to be there. I've been there for 20 years. That's, that's a bit of a run-up to it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So he just kind of sits there and he's like, So you just fought off demons, and then you fought off orcs powered by demons. What's next? I just. Next, you'll have had tea with the Wizard King, yes? Where's Eric when you need him? (laughs) (laughs) You should say that, but his daughter's a lot nicer for tea. (laughs) (laughs) I'll, uh. When he mentions the orcs, I'll just put place my axe on the table on the table and be like, "I don't think I've fully introduced myself to you." I think you've noticed, obviously, the two dwarf guards have like their hands are on their weapons. Oh yeah, yeah. I wouldn't expect anything else, but I'm like, my full easy, title. Easy now, there, big fella. <laughs> I know you go. This is not a threat, don't worry. But my full title is now Chieftain Crumbar Denerbeck of the Band of the Red Wing. However, this axe is all that remains of them. Okay, he looks at the axe, looks at you, and he's like. Again, I mean, no offense, it's a pretty ugly weapon. It's obviously like trust all like me. black twisted metal with like red all over yeah. it, yeah. I'm like, trust me, what it does to my enemies is a lot worse. So I would imagine. And the guy like leans forward and he's like, well, I'm Lord Bramrid Deepmain. You probably know that since you've been following me about town. But you can call me no, my lord. We pick, we're... <laughs> Just chuckles well, my lord. We picked up on a few things. Oh, I don't have no fancy but, blood axe, but you know, I do have uh, this fine half bottle of wine. And he tops up his glass, <laughs> and he like leans over and oh, pulls oh. the platinum pile towards him, and he's like, "I might have a couple of more bottles before I leave." <laughs> I like the idea. All right, like he's went, and I've got this fine half bottle of wine. Crumbar is just like, only half, and he just chugs the rest of his bottle. And just go, 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 and then go, I'm already needing my, uh, needing a... Can you roll me a constitution save, Crumber? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a big time. Does, does, or a protection work in this then? <laughs> uh, you paste in order of protection and we'll find out. There you go. Never you are a friendly creature with intending to make a saving throw. Yeah, of course I would. 
Don't ask me why, yeah. but so, yeah. I'm like, your holy I'm aura like, purifies the alcohol. God, that'd be horrible because you'd struggle to get drunk. So my <laughs> charisma bonus is two. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say that whatever I roll, I get two on top yeah, of that. you can just type in plus two at the end of it, or like as in like once we've yeah. done it. Um, so what are we just, doing now? So, in fact, you know, it might actually already be factored in, to be honest. So do you want to just click your save for a constitution? Constitution. Mm -hmm. Right, let's highlight it. So, is your con save a plus four? What's your constitution modifier for me? Two. Plus two, and you are level... But I don't even know if that sounds right. Let me just double check. Dabble I up. am level six. Yeah. Right, so you're not proficient in constitution, that's why. And... Oh, no, shit, yeah, my constitution, yeah, two. So that has factored that in for you, because your charisma bonus is a two. Your con is a two. So that is factored mm -hmm. in. Because it's a plus four. Yay! So the sheet did all the work for us, finally. <laughs> I know, right? A rare treat. Um, Either way, that's a fucking beast of a role. Yeah, so. a, a, yeah, I think, yeah. Your divinity is keeping you sober. <laughs> well, crazy. it's keeping me stuck. Um, so, yeah. I like how he says that and he's sitting down. Bye. So you... You do that and he kind of looks at you and he's like, well... Looks like maybe the next round's on you. And he lifts uh, some of the platinum off and uh, sits it down. And he's like, in fact, do you know what? And he kind of looks at the pile and he's like, let's just get another another 10 bottles. Okay. And he just like looks at me and like, looks at Kitty and just like touches his nose and he goes, Shh. And then like slides the money over to Crumber. So that 10 platinum you've piled up, he's given you to go buy 10 bottles of the Ugly Duckling. Seriously? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I just like, okay. At that <laughs> point, Crumba I go, yeah, slaps the table because he's getting a bit on the tipsy side. You know, con <laughs> yeah. save means he's yeah. not paralytic, uh -huh. but yeah. he's getting, yeah, he's getting merry. merry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can definitely be merry. Like, um, yeah. mm -hmm. Yep, yep. This is this is his walking pattern. He's like, excuse me, boom, 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 just steps over area, just this way, and again, just ha hand on the table. He's like, uh, barking. She so looks at you and she walks over. She does the thing where she does her hands on her hips and looks at you from like halfway across the bar, and then she gives you that knowing look and then she smiles. She goes. Is it going to be worth the steps over to you? <laughs> I was like, very much so. We decided we're probably going to stay here a wee while. So could we get 10 bottles of that wine? And she just shakes her head. like Kind of like a disappointed mother. She goes, <laughs> alright, of course you can, my lord. And she walks up to you and uh, just stares at you. And I, I, I'll just kind of pass the kind of 10 platinum over to her. Like, you know, that way I'm like gripping it to make sure I don't drop it. Mm -hmm. And just they're like waiting to place it in her hand kind of thing. Yep. And then she smiles at you when you do that. And then she puts like obviously her hand towards you. Not up though, again. Um, and she puts her hand like if you're holding the, the pile of 10 coins. She just kind of mm. almost... Puts her hand around yours as best she can, yeah. given that you have nice yeah. work hands. So, just give her, I just give her the money and just be like, yeah. "Yes." Now, if she goes, and more, she doesn't get more she wine, tips, please. She just brings back like the the wooden crate that we'd have had all the minute, um, <laughs> and then just dumps that on the the countertop, and she's like, Phew, "Enjoy your night." And off she goes, throws the towel over mm -hmm. her shoulder, walks back to the. The rest of the uh, patrons. Um, oh, I was going to be nice and give her a tip. I mean, you can still show her back if you want. Like, you've still got time to do that. Yeah, and I'll just be like, uh, just because I don't want to round, round up numbers, I'll just be like, here's here, and it's like, thank, thank you for your trouble, and I'll just put three gold coins on the bar. She like, and... it is like a courtesy with her like apron, mm -hmm. and he uh, takes the gold mm -hmm. coins, puts them in her pocket. But and I was like, but please, 
my name's Crumbar, not my lord. And then I just pick up the crate and just like, don't stay on back. As you're Over like, Kitty. Yeah, like before you even leave, she goes, when you say like, my name's Crumbar, and then I go to move away, and she's like, my name's Ella. As in, hey Ella. <laughs> and she kind of like, just Ooh, like, no, but I'll remember that. I'll see you once we're done with these bottles. <laughs> I don't think you will once you're done with those bottles. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> and I've been like, like wobbling yeah. back over. <laughs> yeah, like you've never seen an art drink then. Stomping away. Do you know what I love though? The great and gold worm, a god over. dragon, has empowered you to defend the world from demons and you're currently using it to stay sober. <laughs> I mean... What would you use superpowers for? <laughs> I don't know. More <laughs> good things. <laughs> this will be Crumbar's adventures. Oh. <laughs> what, Kitty got stuck in a bag? I no. got stuck in a toilet seat? Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, right, so you head back to the table, dump that down. Um, mm. Let's round up the, the chat at the table. What do you want to like? What's the end goal of that particular evening? Of celebration, because right. you all have a room, a room elsewhere, right? But clearly, this, this noble, he might be staying here. He might not be, but he's not moved. He's a probably sat for well over an hour, right? Let's face it. Um, <laughs> getting probably hammered, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. um, unless MD's act actively no, not drinking. Probable <laughs> about it. I am sticking to beer. I want to be able to see mm -hmm. my toes at the end of this. Mm -hmm. Luckily, so, you were open to it, but not excessively. Yeah. <laughs> But... Who's making toast? <laughs> oh my god. Nobody's making toast. Yeah, the wine's kicking in. Yep, definitely. <laughs> yep. Um, and yeah, like those guards are very professional and <laughs> barely blink. Um, so yeah, yeah, what's the like what is the, the end goal of this? Because right. we're gonna we're gonna round it off as a, a some dice rolls, obviously. So Yeah. Some plan to get us to see the Wizard King. Uh, so Nope, want to rephrase that? I think the ale's got to you. Oh, God, the <laughs> Dwarf King, yeah. We don't want to see any Wizard Kings. They're nope. all bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, so let me... Uh, how about I put in some options, right? So, yeah. right, we've got... Um, get to forge as dwarfs. Get to forge sneaky. <laughs> right, there's your two main things, right? Uh, yeah. Legitimate. Oh, I can't even spell. Legitimate. A uh, forge. So you can get there somehow legitimate. I don't know how that works yeah. yet, but that's kind of your. Unless I've missed an option that you we've we've talked about. Oh. Also, there's get proof. I'm really glad I put the R in there because I really thought I'd missed it for a second, and I thought I just offended a whole bunch of people, <laughs> including myself. <laughs> <laughs> So that's kind but of everything it, on the table besides the like what twelve wine bottles. Yeah. So. Yeah. So legitimately get to forge. Right. Uh, if we need to have bring him along with us or whatever to smooth the way through or whatever, uh, but yes, somebody to legitimately get there. All right, legitimate passage. And yes. To forge. Uh, for him to do that, that's probably going to need proof. Yeah. And yeah, and I agree. Legitimate forge? <laughs> yeah. So, I know it sounds like you're forging your way to forge, right? It's, 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 it's yeah, a strange time. Yeah, I'm like, I'm legit. <laughs> so, uh, anyone else get any other ideas for plans? Or is this what we're going to try and, try and achieve? I think that sounds reasonable. Okay, so uh, as, as dwarfs, <laughs> get to forge sneaking. I mean, these these are just the options, right? These are just sometimes easier to actually see things I uh, written down. The right, so everybody wants to try and legitimately get to forge, which is probably the best option, really, if the most difficult. Uh, you've then got uh, the problem of proof, right? So. Is it the proof of what we're there for, I take it, yeah. Well, no, because you want to use this guy's name to get to Forge, right? You want you want him to vouch for you, really, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. So he seems very confident he could get you to see the king. But he is really sloshed right now. So 
it just depends how much you believe his clout and obviously what dwarfs going to tell you they're worthless right so yeah there's that to worry about but you did do reasonably well in your investigate role right or your perception the perception i think it was to go find somebody noble so like you found lord deep main and um, he obviously travel like most nobility would live in the forge because it's where the rich people live it's where the high society of dwarven life is like think of forge a bit like omen which is the capital where the wizard king lives it's the same type of idea where you know it's the well-to-do people live in the forge and it's not open to outsiders because well when you can choose to only see your own kind dwarves kind of do that um mm. Yeah, there are the dwarves happy to mingle because money, and the dwarves that have all the money, so they don't need to mingle. Really. Mm. So what is the... Uh, what is the attempt for proof here? Because you will need to maybe deal with that next time, I think, to get proof. I mean, yeah. I'm guessing he can write as a letter of recommendation. It's not about think? that. It's not about that. It's about you getting him to do it. Yeah. So the proof, though, we probably need to agree with him to go out tomorrow, find a wizard of good standing who's happy to uh, provide proof that this is demon ash, something yeah. like that. Something oh, like that. So that. Yeah, because yeah. he's not going to just say, I met oh. these randoms in a pub and they want to see my king. Hey, kingy, let me use my entire reputation. On he's a, a campfire. Of mm -hmm. right. Wait. Glass mm -hmm. yeah. Wait, what if I just use the truth? What do you mean if you just use on the truth? Because then we can't lie. Oh, in fact, no, because only I would know if they're lying. Mm -hmm. Also, he doesn't seem to like wizards from your conversation. So if you turn around and say you're a wizard now after saying that you, you fought demons so you need to speak to their king, and then when he talked about the orc problem, you also fought the orc problem. And then when you turn around and say, also, I'm a wizard, yeah, you want like proof? It, it's, all, it's almost like we're the main characters in an RPG. Uh-huh. It's, remember when? Uh, do you remember when Eric had to explain to Livian what he'd been up to, why he hadn't been in touch with her? Do you remember that? And she was mm. like, "Okay, so now you've met the princess. Okay, brother. Yeah, it, it it is as ridiculous as it sounds. But yeah, it's because you're the main character in RP. Um, That's kind of your fault. By right? the way, though, a zone of truth might have been handy just to get him to see if he could get his there. Uh, if it does actually yeah, I was going to say, yeah, like, ma like maybe when Crumbar, I, I would say, sobers up slightly, it's maybe not the worst idea to confirm his abilities with something like that, but then would you take offense uh, to that? Would you be impugning his honor? Like, die. Can you do it those quietly, secretly? No, nah, because it's a big, massive golden circle. We've already established that oh, when right. I used okay. on Kitty. Yeah, yeah. So spells, spells aren't sneaky unless yeah. you uh, can skip yeah, the somatic. Yeah, yeah, like there's... um. Yeah. Components teach and most have verbal components. Some only have hand yeah. gestures, so if you can hide them with stealth rolls and stuff, yeah, you can get away with stuff, but most of it's showy. Mind you, though, a dwarf, let's stand in this golden circle, look at all this lovely gold ass. Maybe we could get away with it. <laughs> You'll get richer if you stand in here. I have to stand outside to tell you that, though. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't think there's any rules actually for this particular part because let's face it, you actually aren't really. You are just getting drunk with the guy. So the only thing yeah. you just need to do is go yes. get proof, right? So yeah. we'll, we'll deal with that next time, I think, because that can be tomorrow's adventure if we all play again tomorrow. Um, After good time. Yeah, I would say that's a good time to maybe end it. So I see that uh, you've put in a suggestion for the name already. Uh, I would say maybe that's if you can achieve tomorrow. Yeah, it's not like, tonight. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. <laughs> I think, um, but maybe something very similar to it. Attempt to forge. forge uh, yeah. yeah, I was going to say like <laughs> something like forgery required. Yeah, that good something actually. like that, yeah. I love it. And actually, yeah. it makes it like a good two-part title mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, them tied together. So yeah, but we'll see. Forgery anyway. required, forgery accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> Forging ahead is also a decent one, isn't it? Really. Hey, <laughs> uh, uh, we just went in forgery required for now. Then. I do like forgery required, but I'm yeah, required. I like. It. I like my one. <laughs> Follow the people yeah, that get pushed. I mean, really yeah, I mean, yeah. More uh, instructions, but yeah. True, but yeah. <laughs> 
And let me just paste this in. Paste. Oh god, why does it do that? Let's not paste it in. Let's just type it in. So forgery acquired. For I even just. Papers, please. <laughs> uh, we had that for session 37. Did we actually? Yep. Remember when uh, you were pretending to be Olivian? Oh my god, uh, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you know what's really weird, right? My Monday group suggested In Too Deep is the latest session title, and I'm like, guys, we've had that. That was like so many sessions ago as well. That's weird that in the same week that's both groups. Bizarre. <laughs> Repeating titles, how dare you? Um, <laughs> Right, goals. Let's have a look at the goals. Uh, right, so we can obviously skip goal one for now because big GGW hasn't phoned in yet. No. Uh, figure out how to close hellholes as a team safely. Uh, not yet. Uh, get to forge safely. Not yet, but that might be next week. So that's not maybe. bad. I say next week loosely, next session. Uh, get the dwarves to help the citadel. That could also maybe be next. It really depends how well <laughs> getting proof goes. How many wizards you go through. And I uh, find out Armos's location. So any of those you want to change for next week? Out of interest. No, but the Armos one because we ain't going to get to that for a wee while. So you want to chuck that to the side? Would you want to put? No, I don't know what to replace it with just now, but I'll have a think before. How about I'll... successfully so... get proof? The, the the ash is demon yes. ash like yeah that's maybe like that that's achievable right that involves stuff <laughs> yeah let me find just out why it, find out why in the Who's French part we've been? got two ways yeah, one is keeping yeah. demon ash yeah but uh, get proof uh, or you could also get this guy to ag agree to help us because it's not quite agree to help us yet one or the other. Uh, what you both I, equally. They're both the same. You just tell That's me the wording, really. I, I'll type it in. Uh, uh, What's the thoughts? Uh, mm. uh, the other one's a wee bit harder because it's so too bad to what do if it's um, get, proof get proof to convince Lord to vouch for us? How's that? Right. That sounds doable. That's yeah. that. That's mm -hmm. like as on point and vague enough, right? Because it means if you yeah. ditch the yeah. demon ash plan and find something more legitimate, you could use that mm. instead, and you still get it. So, I'm still going to leave that under Adri's color though, as well, because she doesn't have one in the list. Everybody else has got one. In fact, Stu has two. Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. So that's goals done. I no XP yet. But maybe two goals next time, maybe three, depending on... That could actually be three goals yeah. next time if we're super efficient. Mm. I mean, I'm going to be optimistic. It might seem sarcastic, but I'm going to be optimistic about that. Um, right, let us do our wrap-up chat then, and we will have ourselves a session. So let's just start with Arya way up at the top. So um, this session, I kind of witnessed the being a lot more diplomatically and speaking to people than they probably should. <laughs> um, I know she spent a lot of money on booze and not a lot on horses. Quiet and kind of shaking my head at some of the things that were being said. They mm -hmm. shouldn't have been said. <laughs> demons, 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 I, demons. I like yeah, the, uh... the simple people that get really, really freaked out mm. very easily. I just love that you expected so the world from that little merchant lady. I know, but I didn't really feel like Arya would interfere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's the thing. Like I was, if I'd been playing a different sort of character, I would have been like, um, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like these are matters only for the king. I'm afraid I cannot divulge. You know, kind uh -huh. of like pulling rank on people, kind of like making us seem more important, making it like we can only speak to the very important people, that sort of thing. <laughs> but obviously, like, I was like, eh, hey, Arya wouldn't get involved in that because she wouldn't have that sort of like diplomacy, military, almost like idea of like who should and shouldn't be entitled to information. So just kind of shaking my head was was I feel enough for for her but yeah that was that was definitely interesting seeing them kind of like yeah I mean I actually think the diplomacy went reasonably to... well to be honest like <laughs> yeah, yeah no but I'm saying like we shouldn't have told 
commoners of 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 matters yeah. of the state. Well, it's just fine. We'll see how panicky it gets. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it is interesting for me as a player. I'm like, ooh, so that's that's mm. a thing to juggle. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Sophie, do you want to go next? Kidless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just like pulling out the box of ash like yeah everyone's going to turn demon ash right like mm -hmm. it, how could it not be anything else and it's like, this is ash I could just get some out of my place <laughs> thing is though right like Crap, how, much, how much was that something you never thought would come back up right you know right oh so where in the hell did you get that from uh, um, from a hellhole obviously <laughs> duh <laughs> Like, I don't remember you picking that up. I do. I, no, I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember obviously doing it, but I can't remember where. Yeah, I'm, I feel like it was at the, the ones who in Magna left. Like, I feel like it was there, but mm. I'm not 100% because it was either there or it was the, the Savine hellhole, the one before that. Yeah. It was one of the two, but I think it was the one with Magna because that's the one that was like already done. Mm -hmm. But I honestly don't specifically remember. But it'll be in a recording somewhere, so. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You've got a. You, you definitely asked me for a case full of demon ash. I recall that. So yeah, it was a probably a really yeah. good call to bounce. You're like, this will come in handy at some point. Yeah, it was actually. <laughs> <Nah. yes. laughs> Who knew it was the exact thing to make this entire journey not pointless? Uh, right, everybody back home. Knows. <laughs> See in about can it, uh, two or three sessions time, we're going to need a giant's toe for something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much guaranteed. Ah, giant's get toes? That. You'd get in to see the, wizard, sorry, the Dwarf King a hundred times with a giant's toe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Free lordship. Is there a shit like that, Daria? No. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Crumber, do you want to go next? I just like the bit in the bar where Crumber got to get really pissed. It's fun. I like drinking in game when I'm totally not yeah. drinking in real life, because mm -hmm. it matches up with how I'd actually RP in real life. It's meant to be a fantasy world, so it's meant to be things you wouldn't do in real life, though. <laughs> well, I will say this: I would never pull out an axe in a bar. Sure. So a knife, maybe? No. <laughs> no. That's not yeah. an axe. That's a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're playing Axie Spin. For <laughs> giants, <laughs> uh, That's good. That's good. Murder. Uh, if I mean, you'd like to add their crumper. Nah, I had fun. It was, it was, good. It was a good session, yeah. Uh, Actually, yeah. he's made progress, believe it or not. Like, it might just seem like he's got drunk, but you have made an important friend, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I. Yeah, like, this guy seems like he's pretty cool, because... He literally spent the 10 like... platinum on booze. <laughs> yeah, exactly! I was like, here, take this as a bribe. Here, take this and go buy more booze. <laughs> I'm like, I like your thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how he bought all that booze, and most people didn't choose to drink it, though. That's what I like about the scene, is that mostly it was him. <laughs> it's good. Uh, yeah. um, what yourself, Reach? Uh was good, we've made good progress, and I'm wondering, yeah, is most people not drinking? Because I was wondering how many people I'm carrying out at this mm -hmm. place, but that's... Uh, I'm dragging but, them back to wherever the hell your hotel was, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah fine. all going good. Mm -hmm, yeah. And that's a wee reminiscent of Name of the Wind, you know, in the pub with the, mm -hmm. his, his first noble that he met kind of thing I yep. can't remember his name but yeah but anyway <laughs> let's hope it ends up as good but we'll see hopefully <laughs> better than most things that ever happened to Koth quite frankly hopefully better yeah, yeah. Um, oh, he was a bit God. of a disaster artist yeah. uh, well I'd say we call that a session thanks very much for playing guys yeah. it was fun I'll speak to you all tomorrow <laughs> bye. <laughs> yeah. bye bye bye, bye. bye.